Whoa, hey, good morning. Look who's back. Look who's back for another daily trail running workout climb. Guys, here we go. Here we go another morning. Look, it's almost like foggy today out here. I don't know what's going on. We're going to get blasted later. It's going to be in the 90s today, maybe close to 100. But right now, it's June gloom, baby, <laughs> on a Wednesday, July 29th, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, everybody. But all right, here we go. Here we go. I'm Hooded Hill Hopper. You know me. Or if you're new, <laughs> just subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Ping! And freaking comment. Share this video with all your friends. If you share this video with six people, and they share it with six people, and they all subscribe, within a week, I'll have one billion subscribers and I'll also be arrested for a pyramid scheme but hey anyways I'm not gonna stop anyone from doing that and you can also pay them <laughs> you can also those six people have to pay you fifty dollars each and then the, the each of those six they get six pay fifty dollars each so not only that I'll have like a billion dollars so and then I'll retire and you'll never see me run again so anyways all right, Hooded Hill Hopper, here we go under the bridge. We are on Arroyo Tribuco Canyon again. We're gonna head north that direction. We're swerping around. As you guys know, it is, we're gonna do another easy parcheesy day. Uh, just basically, basically a not impossible run. We're just gonna take it easy, just mostly flats. Uh, you know, we got the, the old right knee, the old, the old, uh, bit of a torn meniscus suspected. I think it's, you know, I'm popping the ibuprofen like I was instructed, like Skittles. You know, we're going to do this for a week. Um, and then we'll, uh, see what happens. I, I think it feels a little bit better, but, um, I just got to be careful. So that's, the. Uh, that's the plan, Stan. We're just gonna kind of take it here under Oso Parkway Bridge. I've already been out jogging, uh, probably just under a mile and a half. So we're gonna get going, get loose today. You can see it's a little dark. I don't even know how it's gonna show up with the, the GoPro. It's not known for its uh, low light capabilities, that's for sure, but I think it'll work. I mean, definitely, as you know, I mean, we're getting into August. The, uh, I mean, ideally, I'd like to leave earlier, too, my runs. I started today about, left the house about 5.46, maybe? So, ideally, I'd, I'd really like to leave by 5.30. That'd be great. It's going to start getting dark. And, uh, so I'll need to figure it out. Obviously, I'm going to need to bring some sort of light. I've got... Got Amazon, never used it. I call it the Iron Man light because it's basically a strap that goes around your chest. It's just a big old light right here. It looks like the Iron Man, whatever reactor thing, but it looked pretty cool. But I've never actually ran in it or tried it, so we'll have to, we'll definitely give that a shot. I bought it for my failed Saddleback Mountain Run back in February. I went all the way over there, thought I was so freaking cool. Only to, you know, I should show the water. Only to find out they had a big giant metal gate block and access. <laughs> Practically ruined my wife's SUV. Uh, going on this crazy dirt rocky road for like three and a half miles. <laughs> at like four in the morning <laughs> on a Sunday. But, uh, oh well, my bad. That was, hey, uh, pro tip. Check the government uh, park website before you go to a trailhead. It, it had like flashing font, like, hey, buddy, close. And it's, uh, so I called them. I'm like, oh, like, was it just closed for the season? It was winter. It's like, dude, there was a fire, man, mudslides. It's going to be closed like at least two years. So it's like, oh. So that's where I'm like, I might need to park before the dirt road. Bring my bike bike it the this dirt road I think it's about five miles because I think we can I think we can hop that fence even with the bike <laughs> I might park the bike at the fence hop the fence and then see what it's at see what kind of shape the trails in and just have at it maybe not the smartest idea but we'll see 
So yeah, we're a little earlier here. I'm hoping we see some wildlife at this early of a day. And we're just chomping away miles at a 11.30 pace. So hopefully we loosen up here some more. So back in my heyday, that's a trail we, we've taken that before. Know where that goes. So if we if we if we went straight north on this trail, just kept going, it actually will take you to O'Neill Park. It's a huge campground. It's where my parents stay when they, they bring their motor home. And it's about it's a solid half half marathon out and back. You know, 13.1 miles, 20k, whatever you want to call it. You know, and, and it's uh I've done it, it's cool. It's it's mostly flat because it just carves the canyon and takes you right there. That also takes you right to the basically the base of Salvac Mountain, what I'm talking about. Salvac Mountain's the biggest peak around here. It the elevation was like 4,000 something. So you're basically going up like 4,000 feet on the climb. So it's a legit climb, which I've never done. So I can't speak really to it, but I know it's tough. Um, and we will do it. I just don't, it'd probably be better to wait for the trail to open, but I'm also super impatient. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So in theory, I think today we're going to cross three rivers. I said that yesterday, but we got sidetracked on that cool single track trail. So we, we actually crossed three because we came back. But uh, on this path, I think we're going to hit it three times, if I recall, because I just took a couple months ago, took my, when my wife and I took our mountain bikes. So mountain biking is awesome. Heck of a lot of fun. You don't need to, you, I mean, you can, but you don't need to get a three, four thousand dollar bike. That's for sure. Ours are like, mine's about at least 15 years old. I need to shut up. Oh, yeah, there we go. I mean, in my, mine was like 500, a Gary Fisher back in like ugh, 06, maybe. Maybe 06, I think 06, I bought it. So yeah, it's almost 15 years old. My wife has a track that's like a solid year old, but we just started using it. They're a blast, dude. You don't need, they're both hardtails. You don't need full suspension. I mean, if you're doing serious work, yeah, and your butt hurts, yeah, definitely go get a full suspension. But otherwise, I mean, and if you're a serious game and you got the money, go for it. Get the, I had back in my 20s, I had a nice full suspension. I think I mentioned this, a Rocky Mountain frame. It's a heck of a bike. I mean, they're, they make you feel invincible, which is one of the problems, because you're not, and then you eat crap, and you fall hard. But you know, those full suspensions, and this was, that bike was a 2005 Rocky Mountain. I mean, in 15 years, I'm sure the technology's insane now. But I got a heck of a deal on that. I think I paid like 1200 It was like a $3,000 bike back then. <laughs> now, I mean, nowadays, it's probably like a $500 bike. Bike technology just is like, it, what do you call it, that law? Is it Moore's Law? <laughs> Everything, like the speed doubles in 18 months on computers. It, it's like that for bikes, too. <laughs> like, the technology does not sit around. But, anyways, hey, mile two. 13 minutes. Oh, man. We're going to quicken up, I promise. So, we're just going through here. La-di-da, you know. Um some great camera work. I don't know if we'll see any deer because I kind of went through here yesterday. I think I made the point, those deer, that's the way we usually go to the, we do some road work on that hill over there. Um, but not for a few days. So my, uh, yeah, the deer, like, uh, like you'll see them and they're like, ah, oh, crap. Now we can't be here anymore. And it's like, you never see them in that spot again. Cause you're always like, oh yeah, they're gonna, I'm gonna see them again. It's like, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so yesterday we came back from this fork on the right here that takes us down to the, um, takes us down to the trail. 
to the river and took us over to like the other side which is rancho san margarita the east side of the canyon with some townhouses cool stuff so we'll take a sneak peek this is a great picture spot i will be coming here with my kids and why that bamboo the river that's cool but we're not we're not we're not gonna go that way today so all right but you can see it's just nice and really nice beautiful in here not 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 like my england buddies not that type of beautiful but you know for basically de desert um you know d desert climate it, it's, not, it's weird how it's desert climate because we're really only like five miles from the ocean but it, it just turns to desert quick but that's how it is that's what i was talking about when we go to mexico on vacation loretto i mean it's the desert till you hit the beach <laughs> and so it's dry hot you know which you don't think of the, you don't think of the ocean like that you think it's more humid and you know the weather's a little cooler but not here okay let's see so we're gonna see what our mile paces are i'm purposely not gonna go too fast you know we got uh um we gotta rest the knee but also i'm not gonna be keeping a 13 mile pace i mean if we're screwing around kind of like yesterday yeah but I mean, hopefully i can pick it up a little bit it's kind of sad because like a year ago i'd be doing i'd be in the high eights or nine on my pace through here that's just okay here's the third river so this is the last crossing on this path oh good grief so i haven't done this one ran on this i haven't ran this far Ooh, over two years so oh, that's a nice little oh you guys did a good job okay shut up hooded hill hopper shut up You can see I'm anything but nimble, you know. Like, I see some of you ninjas would be across that in, like, half a second. Like, probably, uh, what's his name? Sticky Paws? <laughs> so, that's what that guy's like. Yep, I don't, you know what? He's just like, I just jump over it, dude. Like, just get run, just run fast, jump it, man. What do you, like, you took literally, like, three minutes to hill hopper to transverse that, that puny creek, if you can call it that. So here we go. Yeah, this is cool looking. Definitely beautiful here. So nice, cool looking area we've got going on. Hey, let's give a shout out to Sticky Paws. I should probably give him some background. That guy is, uh, so he, he does like great shape. You can just see like lean, <laughs> lean machine, dude. Um, he does all these burpee challenges and stuff. and which is great and fantastic, but he's also, he's also a climber, and I believe, I'm pretty sure he's New York City, because he has, like, rock climbing, I think in, like, Central Park or something, I've never been to New York, so, but I think that's where he's at when he's doing it, but anyways, he's just, like, just phenomenal, um, athletic ability, whatever you want, athleticism, agility, coordination, because he was, like, he sent me a comment like dude because this is he's like is that an alpine, alpine houdini you're wearing and that's the, the windbreaker and no this is the the, the brand's patagonia but this is uh, just the regular houdini the original the alpine is more for like uh in sticky paws you know this better than me more for like a colder climate like much more uh you know it cooler cooler weather snow or just much you wouldn't wear it like and i was explaining the reason i wear this one super light layer where it weighs like nothing i can wear it in the cool you know put base layers underneath put this over and uh i can wear it in the heat and i it works it, it's so versatile but the one he's talking about the alpine one it's thicker so he yeah, so that's that and i'm like no man he's like oh yeah i do so I wear the Alpine one for ice climbing, of course, because, oh, yeah, you know what? I left my, you know, I've got, like, three at home for ice climbing. <laughs> like, freaking ice climbing. That sounds deadly, but that's awesome. So that's how, that's how the kind of shape he's in. You're going to see him, like, 
probably do some crazy climbing videos and stuff soon. But I was like, ice climbing, good grief. So sticky paws, like throwing it down. Like, like I said, I'm always like, man, the stuff, the stuff I can't do, can't climb. I did five push-ups yesterday, pull-ups, I say push. I did five pull-ups yesterday almost. I'm so sore today. I'm like, good grief. So here hey, we got someone on the trail. Here we go. Morning, buddy. So yeah, we got some. Hey, this is almost this is a fake creek. We're not gonna count this. This isn't the main one. I'll still manage to get my feet freaking wet, I'm sure. Whoa. So yeah, sticky paws throwing it down, just technical with the burpees. You can tell the great shape he's in. And just a climbing machine. Got that lean, probably light body weight, impeccable strength of body weight ratio. So check out his channel, Sticky Paws, like really cool content. So give, give him a give him a go. I hope this is recording. <laughs> Dude, I, I tell you what, I unplugged it from the computer this morning. And like I always turn it on just to test it. Nope, wouldn't turn on for like a minute. Probably like the like second, like like, ugh, holding down that button. It's like, oh, okay, I'll wake up and turn on. It's like, thank you, camera. These GoPros. I'm just like, ow, look at that. Woo. It is excellent. Man, I love to take pictures back here. It, it takes a... To get back here, though. Huh. I have to bring the jogging stroller. I have to figure it out. Anyways... Yeah, this is good grief. It gets nice through here. I mean, look at all this. It's beautiful. It's super wide angle, so it's not bringing out the best. And the colors are muted because of freaking June gloom, which <laughs> I'm not complaining, Mother Nature. Like, you keep bringing the heat with that June gloom. I got, got no problem. So, yeah, I haven't been, like I said, I haven't ran through here. Like, I biked through here a couple months ago, but we, you know, on a bike, you just don't, you don't pick it up because you're going faster, you know, it's different, but this is, this is great. So anyways, yeah, this Houdini, I've been wearing a Houdini jacket. If you need a windbreaker, there's lots of brands. I have others. I have a Marmot. I've got a Craft. They make great bike gear clothing. I have a craft black windbreaker, marmot, neon orange, but Houdini by Patagonia has kind of been my go-to. I'm not brand specific. Some of Patagonia stuff's excellent. Some of it's trash. <laughs> so you find what works for you from what brand, you know. <laughs> now when I get sponsored, <laughs> then we'll go brand specific, but you know, definitely not right now. <laughs> But yeah, so great, uh, good guy, sticky paws, bringing the heat. <clears throat> All right. Now, one of my, one of my concerns, I keep talking, oh, big bear's coming up. And, you know, I'm, I'm really anxious and paranoid because it's less than two weeks. My knee's on the fritz. And one of the things I didn't mention is, because we're taking it easy, one of the problems, you can't just take it easy for a week or two. Oh, like we're just doing these mostly flat runs. La-di-da. The problem is, is you can't just be like, all right, I'm ready to climb. You can't just turn it on like that. Whoops. And, and be back on it. It doesn't freaking work that way. You know, like it's, you're going to be gassed trying to climb if you take two weeks off. I mean, you'll have a little left, but you can't just pop on it so I am worried about that I'm like I gotta get some work in some road work in serious before I go there but I don't want to mess up my knee now this loop trail so this circles around again I've never gone this way to be honest hey I've never been on this trail ever. I'm pretty sure, dude. If it crosses the river, we might just go back. We're done with rivers. Oh, it crosses the river. Dang it. Of course. All right. Well. All right. All right. Dang, dude. Um. 
Oh, we're getting wet here, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Talk about sticky paws, and then the, I had the sticky feet there for a second. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, well, this is kind of hilly. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Dang, dude. All right, we'll just take the hills easy. I never wanted to say no to a hill, but... Whew. Oh, dang. All right, so... What do we got up here? Oh, I think I know where this goes. This might be the rolling hills I was talking about that takes you up to a neighborhood or you stay on it, it loops around. We'll see, this might be more than I wanted to put on my knee. I really should have just stayed on that flat edge, whatever. Certainly don't want to be pushing too hard. That's for sure. Okay, so yeah, so that's, I mean, one of the things I'm worried about definitely is just getting out of shape, losing my cardiovascular for the climbs. It's, it's, okay, loop trail, yeah, that's what we're on. It's a, it's a legitimate concern of mine. I am a little paranoid anxious about that because you want to go in there you want to go to big bear sharp you're dealing with the pitch you're dealing with the length and you're dealing with that no oxygen at elevation so i know it's not crazy but you get up to 9,000 feet and the first day or two you're gonna feel it if you're like me hanging out at sea level so yeah, this trail, this trail's ugly. This just follows along the telephone poles. I know this trail. I did used to take it. It'll take you up to the neighborhoods. I'm, I guess we'll do it. Loop around with it. I've never done the full loop with it. I've always climbed up into the neighborhoods. I'm really trying to minimize the climbing, but oh well. I mean, this is just, it's a lazy climb, but it is what it is. All right. So you can see, we were just in that beautiful lush canyon and you like, within 50 feet of that creek, you pop out. It's like, oh, we're in the ugliest place in the world, <laughs> you know, and it's foggy. So this is just dead, dead, dead whatever this is weeds the tall stuff's dead mustard grass dead purple flowers of poison dead purple flower dead purple flowers of death i said it so you can see this is not now uh march april this is green baby it looks great if it's rained and then you know you can get some you can get some picks and stuff here but not right now. This is ugly. So this was the trail. I think, what day was it? Uh, last week on my hyperlapse. This is the trail. I, yes, this was the trail I was trying to get to. And I totally messed up and got lost. Thank God it was a hyperlapse video. So people probably didn't realize what the heck I was doing. Because I wasn't talking. You see it go... That guy's just doing like loops around the same area. I kept going back and forth. It was, <coughs> it was awful. I'm not gonna lie. Terrible video, but a hyperlapse kind of uh, kind of protects it, <laughs> protects the quality. <laughs> kind of all looks cool. So, all right, here we go. So it's getting these hills get kind of intense, which wasn't what I was looking for. <coughs> but let's just make it happen here so it's gonna loop back around this was I did, 
Oh uh, yeah, I can see the hills. You can't see it yet because it's too zoomed out. But some serious climbing going to be starting, which is great on a regular, you know, week and a half ago, awesome possum. Today, uh, so we'll see here. Where the heck does this go? This is new. I'm almost, I'm almost a hundred percent sure this is new. Almost. You can see, see it dive bombs down there. This gonna, this, I, this must take us up to the road because literally we're right like, uh, that would be a uh, Olympiad Road. Let's take a look here. What we got? I, I maybe I'm wrong, but I really think this is new. Oh yeah, you can see the road right up there. Interesting. I don't know what this is. It's just an old junk area. Yeah, the road's right up there. You can connect to it. Um, all right, I'm gonna figure out here. I'd really rather be down and down, down there. But we're just gonna. That's not where we're at. So we'll make the best of what we have. Kind of curl around this way. This will connect us a little farther down. Downhill, we're super careful on like this. You can see I'm just not lazy hazy, just taking it easy. Hey, no dog allowed. Does anyone listen to that? It's like, dude, like, if I got a dog, that dog's coming with me for sure on that. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> So yeah, this is <laughs> this is such a great climbing area, and here's a trail here, a little trail. So okay, so the loop trail, loop trail is that way. You know what? Ooh, I, I, th that's a great climb. That's freaking amazing. But we're just we're not doing that today. We got to rest, but that, that's good to know. Now I know, I remember how to get here now. I took it. So we're not going to forget that. There is some steep, super steep rolling hills. We do a couple little, some road work there. We're going to get the job done. But let's take this back. I don't think I've gone this way. I, I could be wrong. Like, you know, I can't remember anything. So, but let's, let's get going here. All right. So. Yeah, warp around here. Oh, dude, let's let's, let's do another shout out. So, um, <clears throat> J, capital J, capital C, I think, Caesar, J Caesar, um, burpee fellow, and other stuff, other intense workouts. And the dude, if you watch his videos and you listen, positive message. Uh, you know, man, oh, dude, there's a skunk in here. Um really great message what he's doing and everything it it sounds like I, I i'm not gonna let him speak but he did some hard time and just really got into crazy exercising there and just just all about positivity and improving himself and like getting better and it's just like really freaking awesome listening to him talk just he just uh just a great speaker great motivator dude like and he uh and then he brings the heat on his workouts like he's just got great form and just does these hard burpees, just just knocks them out with like intensity. It's like, yeah. And it's like that's you know, like I said, I love those videos that motivate me. And he just he brings the heat. And he's just he'll do he'll do these crazy sets. They only like talk for a minute or two. And it's awesome. It's excellent. Just inspirational, motivational. Dude's got great stuff to say. Check him out, Jay Caesar. I'm sure most of you have. I don't even know where that goes. But we're gonna, oh crap. Oh crap. What is this, like a 200 foot freaking river? I... All right, uh, <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish the shout out. Oh dude, I should probably go that way. That way it looks easier. But this makes a better video. Oh shoot. Okay, if we can double up here. Oh 
man. Oh, shoot. Hey, ho, ho, ho. We did Hillhopper. Bring the heat on those river crossings. That, we're gonna call that a river, not a creek. That was a river. My friend, that was like that was like the Mississippi right there. Anyway, so Jay Caesar, yeah, just a super positive message. He'll just talk, go on. Dude's just pounding out the exercises, the workouts, doing a great job. So definitely go check him out. We're gonna link him up. Uh yeah, he, he's he's doing solid work. I'm sure most of you guys already know him. He's on he's he's friends with a lot of us but yeah he's he's definitely he's right up there one of the top exercise as soon as my knee gets better man we're doing we're starting up some burpees i'm just i can't go to the squat position i'm not gonna lie we're not i might not get up, so but jay caesar check him out maybe the most positive message uplifting like oh, you get on on YouTube that I found really cool so yeah Jay Caesar check him out we got a climb here I didn't want but it's what happens when you take trails you've never been on so here we go really thought I was gonna connect to the main trail quickly apparently not this is weird we crossed the river and climbed oh I know where we're at I think I see a building here maybe not yeah this is the connection point yeah okay we can probably turn around here in fact so this is there's all sorts of trails <laughs> who knows where they lead that the mountain are covered in fog that's a, you can take if we stayed on that hilly trail it take us to the top there now this is kind of cool. We're gonna take a quick look at this. Try and get it on camera. Okay, San, Fran San Francisco Solano. N named by the Portola expedition that camped here on July 24th and July 25th. Hey, we just missed it. 1769, my friends, that is 251 years ago. While opening the first overland trail through California. Dedicated Elv. Viaje de Portela ride, April 1950, 1966. Wow, that's been here a while. And check this out. Hoo-boo. Okay, this says something. I'm not going to read all. First Europeans cross Orange County in 1769, followed Indian trails through natural brush below the foothills of Santa Ana Mountains. Uh, just, wow, dang, dude. Oh, the Rancho Tribute had been granted in 1841. Someone who built an adobe here for himself his wife and 22 children dude 22 children with one lady come on now yeah that dude was that dude was not faithful i'm just gonna, gonna say what it was but that's that's pretty cool can you imagine that 251 years ago they're almost exactly there, there was dudes over here there's nothing here and these guys were just adventuring. Like, I think, oh, I'm so cool. Look at me. I'm out here on a trail in the wilderness. I can die. No, dude, these, these, these guys were. Oh, we got a truck here. So, like I said, we're not that far out of the wilderness. Not that far from civilization. A freaking diesel truck passes me. So, anyways, I'm just going to get up here to the condos and we're going to turn. Dude, what the hell? Oh, they're all parking here. They do some work here. I don't know exactly what they do. Maybe they're refreshing the adobe. That's a joke. They're not. So, but anyways, that's a, that's a cool thing. Like, you know, oh, let's get over here for this guy. So, I mean, think about it. 251 years ago, um, th th these condos, houses, they weren't here. Apartments, whatever these are. It, just wasn't here go figure there was nothing and dude here's the thing oh you're like oh there's mountain lions uh yeah um guess what else there was a ton of and our state animal mr grizzly bear and uh yeah guess what they like eating people so uh can you imagine what they have back did they, they barely had guns dude what was it 1769 
dude, we weren't even a freaking country yet. That wasn't for another seven years. You know, the Decla De 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 Declaration of Independence was July 4th, 1776. Seven years later. Look at this rainbow rock. Dude, this sounds pathetic. I'm gonna take this. No, someone left it here. It's like, I'm gonna take it from my daughter, but someone left. Oh yeah, they left it here. That's messed up. That'd be messed up. Okay, we gotta head back. So you see it's apartments this way. You keep heading that way. Oh, good Lord, handles ice cream. Another maybe three miles. So, <laughs> all right, let's throw the heat down. So let's get through here. But I'm just, I mean, just think about that. You know, like, I mean, how many of us are really out in the wilderness? I mean, I get some comments like, dude, you're like in the middle of nowhere. It's like, man, I'm going to be honest. I'm never more. All these climbs you see, I'm thinking in my head, whoa, another, that's car central. I'm probably never more than half a mile from a house. I, I'm trying to think where I'm more than half a mile. I mean, yeah, the trails curve around, so it might take a couple miles, but like literally, <coughs> apparently these guys get to work in the weekdays. See all the trails people from the houses coming down walking? It's a pop, this gets more popular in this area because all the houses are right here. <coughs> like I said, we're and we're going to do, maybe soon if I keep doing these flat runs, we'll just shoot all the way to O'Neill Park to the campground to come back. I wish my parents were there, but use the bathroom <laughs> some food we'll see all right so we are i even know where that guy's going i'm not sure where that goes so we are heading head back we're going to take the main trail oh wait not that hilly crud and you can see yeah loop trail Whew. oh dude we're going to do some climbing so this is the loot trail we had to climb up Actually, we're not going to do climbing, we're going to do downhill. I know this part. So, anyways. But yeah, just, I mean, 251 years ago. What were you on, dude? I mean, what'd you have, like, ox or... I, all I can think of is the Oregon Trail video game from the 80s, you know. And the Apple II or whatever. That's I'm just like, oh yeah, they had ox. <laughs> like a wagon. I don't know, dude. I mean, this was, I'm just still thinking about the freaking grizzly bears. Like I said, another video, grizzly bears are the state animal of California, but they're extinct here, dude. They're long gone, unless you count the two at the zoo at Big Bear. I wonder if that's open, if we can go there. Or three, it was like a mom and two boys, those boys. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, oh, you know, it's just monstrous bears, but, uh, they, I mean, the last one was killed over a hundred years ago, right here. Like three miles that way at Holy Gym, which is right at O'Neill Park Campground and uh, the base up to Saddleback Mountain. <laughs> last one was killed right around here. And uh, yeah, it's no joke. In fact, O'Neill Campground, the visitor center, they've, they've got the picture and the like, you know, little paragraph on it, like, hey, last bear that's the last bear last grizzly bear ever in california and they ain't coming back i mean it'd be cool like what an awesome animal but you certainly like yeah i mean imagine i just go through a jog today oh i gotta bring my freaking magnum because uh you know i forget who it was someone was saying that so uh, someone was saying like hey um Oh man, I can't remember who it was. Like, do you like, do you bring like a Smith and Wesson? Like, I would, man. I'd have my whole. Screen. It's like, yeah, probably not a bad, back then. Yeah, now still not a terrible idea, dude. I mean, if a mountain lion, think what mountain lions is. It's not like here I am. I'm, I'm gonna charge you. <laughs> like, they're like raptors, dude. They get you from behind. You know, they're cats, dude. They don't bite you head on. They bite dirty. Just rip your neck apart. So if you see me drop, <laughs> ugh. okay. So this is the downhill part. We're gonna get down into the canyon now. I remember this when we went and get ice cream. My wife, like, I don't know what she do. Uphill on the bike, she fell. I don't know how you fall going uphill. 
because it was like super slow. She was okay, but what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Be careful. So, anyways. So, I, yeah, just those people, like, man. Like, how freaking cool. Oh, man, those settlers. Just being, the, to be the first. That's kind of like I was talking about. Oh, that's why I like climbing. I feel like not a lot of people do it. You know, like in, you know, it's, I mean, obviously not near the same level they're doing, but it's still that same kind of like, I'm doing something that most people don't do sort of feeling. And like, I mean, to discover the world, good grief. So that's awesome, man. All right, you can see we're just dive bombing down to this canyon here. <laughs> doing anything but dive bombing my slow pace. So, anyways, that's uh, that's cool. And you know, in the, the you know, like the grizzly bears of the zoo at Big Bear, you're just like, oh, that's a bear, dude. That thing will. I, you stand, you wouldn't last a split second with one of those, like just giants. And you know, like. I mean, I think they're like, some of them like over a thousand pounds. Like I was up at Mammoth running. This is like seven years, uh, just over seven years ago, July, 2013 with uh, the guys in my wife's family. And I go jog, I did some great jogs there climbing. But the last morning, got right out of the campground. I'd probably been going like half a mile. There was a brown bear, a black bear, whatever you call it. And they're, you know, they're not huge. They're, they're and they get spooked. It saw me and it just sprinted. It was so terrified. It just sprinted away. Dude, I swear to you, it was an earthquake. I was probably maybe 50 to 100 feet away. You know, your mind just plays tricks on you. The, everything was shaking. It was just out of control. This, it just shook the ground. The power from this, like, this black bear, this small little baby black bear you know compared to a grizzly now imagine a bear that moves like two to three times as much and doesn't eat plants turns out they like fish and humans so i mean if you've got a bear a third to half its size making earthquakes when it got spooked dude yeah a grizzly bear so you hear people in yellowstone montana alaska all oh, grizzly bear that's got to be crazy. So anyways, all right, we're just, we're just trooping back here. Actually picking up the pace a little bit. Look at that. We're under a 10 minute pace. 950 boys and girls. I can, I can bring the heat when I want to, or when I need to, when I want to, when I'm warm, you know, but so anyways, um, Oh, dude, one thing, I know I've shouted out this guy like every other video. And it's like, I think it's every, I think he does like two or three videos a week. That's why I'm always giving him a shout out. Uh, quickly though, Majors did a video. And uh, first off, dude, congratulations, man. Your channel is blowing up. Like I'm looking at your views and your comments. Good Lord, dude, and you deserve it, man. Like you're putting out such good material. Like I can't keep my eyes away. I always say, oh, good, another Majors video. Because that guy, that guy brings the heat, dude. Like, these aren't, this isn't like, yeah, I'm going to do this or that. Here's the challenge. This is what I'm going to do. You're like, all right, let's see what happens. Except my wife was getting pissed at me. I was watching in bed last night with the volume on. She's like, that music, I can't sleep. I thought the music was good. I'm, I'm just saying my wife, you know. So anyways, though, it was... Uh, it was like a body weight squat challenge with a buddy of his, this big dude, solid, just muscle. He, he might fight a grizzly bear. But uh, I, the challenge was, so dude, here's the loop. Okay, this is where we started the loop trail. Okay, look at that, 955 mile. You didn't think it was possible. Good hill hopper, bringing the heat. All right, guys, anyway. <laughs> So the, the, the challenge was, do uh, you got how fast can you do 100 squats of your body weight? So he he brought a scale. He, I think he weighed in at one 179, which dang dude, lean and mean man, 179. I'm like 196. That guy is like pure muscle, no fat on him. And then uh, 
his buddy was like, I think 243. I was like, holy crap, squatting 243 hundred times. But anyways, my point is, Major's banged it out. And I, 176 pounds a hundred times, holy smokes. You could just see him hurting. So, and then his buddy did it too. But like, his buddy was, oh, that's a tough one. So, but my point is, like, I look at that and I'm like, I weigh 196. Obviously, I got a bad knee, but take that away. Let's go back a few months. I ain't, I ain't touching 196 once. I don't think, like, I could probably build up to it over a couple months, but not 100, maybe twice if I build up to it. Morning, guys. So, I mean, just incredible strength that guy's got going on. So that is awesome. Morning. Hey, we got people down here now. So either I'm late or what? I was take it easy on the knee. Maybe I'm going too fast. So, anyways, yeah, check that video out. He is he that guy's ready for prime time. I bet you by Christmas, man. He ain't he's gonna be pulling up in like a Rolls Royce. <laughs> it's like, hey, what happened to your car, dude? Like that guy's doing great content really creative he's got great ideas for videos so very cool man <clears throat> all right so here oh yeah that's the beautiful area this is just so magnificent through here good grief look at that my goodness I'm getting... dude that's where i should take my thumbnail pick right there maybe i'll screenshot it i don't even know how who am i kidding okay let's get going here so yeah so now like when we go to big bear mountain lake whatever you want to call it we're staying our cabins actually like I, this is gonna sound weird i don't like staying on the lake the lake there has nothing to offer you can't swim in it you don't really take boats in it i don't really get the purpose of it like it's just there naturally i guess so but something's like wrong with the water no one gets in it so I have no desire to be on the lake. So my wife says, oh, let's get a cabin on the lake. I'm like, why? We can't, can't do anything. And like I, believe it or not, hooded hill hopper likes the hills, likes the mountains. He's a mountain man. So we got a cabin about as high up as you can get. And it's really cool because it's about 100 feet from an awesome trailhead. Where in the winter, it's like the best uh, hidden spot for tobogganing, sledding with the kids. It's just, oh, my knee felt that one, that step. A uh, great spot. So we can do, we can do hiking and all sorts of stuff right there. And then it's probably about a mile from the ski slopes where I'm going to try running. So, dang, dude, that, that didn't feel good on the knee. That's why you always, it's stuff like that, dude. Your regular jogging, it's like, yeah, it's fine. And then you, uh, you kind of step wrong going across rocks you know like ugh. but it's all right we'll ice the bad boy just get it's just gonna get me through a couple weeks so here we go all right trekking through here so we've got so that was that wasn't even a river so we still have three more rivers to cross right oh here might be one So I'm still trying to, I'm trying to think about what we're going to do this weekend in terms of runs. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to be ready to just tear off some monstrous climbs. I think, I think, like I said, I think I could do it. I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> like, let's save whatever I've got left in the knee. Let's save it for Big Bear mostly. So I'll probably do, I've got a good idea for Saturday. And then Sunday, if the kids are coming, we'll just do some fun, some fun like rolling hill kind of flat, no single track, man. That was such a mess. Maybe I'll let my daughter man the camera again. I kind of like letting her get used to public speaking, you know, in front of the camera. You know, she needs to work on that. So let me get, let me know, guys, in the comments if uh, if you like hearing my daughter talk or if you're like, dude, just. We're not here for family time, bro. 
to let me know on that. But here we go. Oh, oh dude, it is, it is late. Freaking A. So we're gonna, let's get these ham hocks moving. So I've been stretching like crazy. Um, my buddy, my PT friend, gave me some tons of stretches to do. He's like, you gotta do this. You gotta stretch your hamstrings big time. Your freaking hip flexors. Your freaking, uh, your quads. He's all, cause you're so stiff and weak on your hips and other areas. It's putting everything on your knees. And he's like, you just can't be, can't be doing that to your knees. Non-stop, you're 40, buddy. You're, you don't take days off, so. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez, dude. Roll my ankle. <clears throat> wow, that was... Okay, one down, two left on the rivers. So, yeah, he's... And he also gave me, I think I mentioned... Uh, hip exercises, strengthen the hip. I'm supposed to do them every other day. I've been doing them at night, every other night. Basically, it's a band. I tie my legs together at the ankle and just do that lateral sidestep for a long time. Like, like I'm going about 50 feet back and forth, like three sets. Whew, then laying on my side on the ground and doing like side ray, leg raises, one leg at a time and holding it. Dude, my hips are on fire. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm trying trying to get all that taken care of and then hopefully hopefully it'll get better. The knees and everything over time. If not, then we'll do what we got to do at that time. Let's get going. What are we at? Uh an hour and nine. So finally today we didn't really climb. Like I was like yesterday we still did over a thousand. Like that's not really what I was trying to do. We're at 494 right now. Um by the time I get back up to my house, because I the rows are up back to my house, we'll be over. So we're basically at 500. We'll be a little over 700 by the time we get back. So much more. That's much uh that's more what I'm looking for. So, you know, whoa. Now, one thing, another reason I can't go too fast here, I'm, uh, I'm fearful of my hamstrings pulling them. Every time I pull them, it's been going fast on flats, you know? So I definitely, and that's one of the reasons I'm really stretching them so we can work on preventing that in the future. Get them strong and healthy and not stiff, you know? So again, this is the turnoff I go to when I'm doing road work on that one hill with all those, when you get to the bottom, it's got all those purple flowers of death. <laughs> so if you guys remember that, I do that about once a week. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's what we're doing. Hey, a lot of feedback. I'm still, guys, I'm behind on the comments, but my wife was looking, she's like, dang, dude, you got a lot of feedback on that question. Super Nintendo versus Sega Genesis. I'll tell you what, um, it looks like most, the majority are leaning Super Nintendo from the glance I took at it. Hey dude, real quick thing. I apologize for being behind on the commenting. I'm trying, I, I know I mentioned this. I legitimately work 15 hour days, about six days a week. And I still work on Sundays paperwork. So I just, I, I just legitimately, I fall asleep at night, like trying to comment and stuff. and. Um, so yeah, it's, it's my bad. I need to figure something out on that. But anyways, it looks like most people are leaning towards Super Nintendo. And I, that's kind of how I lean to. And I think the general consensus in the video game community, not to nerd out too much, was the, the Super Nintendo was a bit of a better console just with the, the number of quality. I mean, there's so many all timers on that if you get a chance dude pick up a super nintendo mini classic system whatever it's called mile six ten oh seven would have been under 10 if we didn't have to cross a river so it's
whoa, <laughs> slipped there. Jeez. So, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. But, you know, it, it's, the Sega Genesis is great. Here's the truth, though. I got a Super Nintendo. It, like, I'll give you the long story, because we got killed. <laughs> so if you don't like video game stuff, like, the girls are just like, good grief, what a loser. Uh, back in sixth grade, for me, this was... Ooh, I guess it really came out kind of the Christmas season of 91, which then instantly turned into 92. And I was like, I got my Nintendo. I think I got a Game Genie for Christmas that year and some games for my regular Nintendo. I was doing good. And I had my Nintendo Power I subscribed to because I got it free from the buying the Dragon Quest game, which we all did. Um, Dragon Warrior in the U.S. I'm sorry, Dragon Warrior. My bad, it was called Dragon Warrior back then. And like, you see the Super Nintendo games. I was just like, that's cool. It looks really cool. I'm sixth grade. I've got I'm 12. I've got no money. I can't get that. We'll stick with the Nintendo. And back then, the Nintendo was... Mo I know it wasn't the first video game system, but it was... For us, most of us, it was the first. And like, my parents were like, why would you need a new system? You'll, you'll have this for your rest of your life. You know, the regular Nintendo. So I was like, okay, whatever. They were paying for it. Dude, I got a Nintendo Power. It was either late January or February. I don't know, I remember this. And they had a poster in there with screenshots of a bunch of the Super Nintendo games that were either out or coming out. Like Super Castlevania 4, Super Mario World, Pilot Wings, uh, I think Super Contra 3, just some heavy, heavy hitters. Um, and plenty of other games. I just Final Fight. <laughs> So anyways, I was like, wait, this looks great. And then, but I was like, okay, whatever. Then they had a screenshot for The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And that was it for me. I'm like, oh, sorry, Nintendo, we're done, dude. And the NES, we're done. I changed my mind. We're getting a Super Nintendo like now. And The Legend of Zelda wasn't even out yet. So I got my brother, my twin brother. He's like, dude. We're getting a Super Nintendo. I don't know what we got to do. We got no money, but we're going to make it happen. We ended up, long story short, <laughs> we put a classified in the newspaper ad. All like, we had like 40 Nintendo games, Game Genie controllers, Nintendo. Through that and like <laughs> toy sales, toy front yard sales. Dude, I think we ended up getting like $400 for everything. Like it was, it was kind of insane. look at that so we got the money the super nintendo it was 199 dollars i remember we went that my dad's like dude you guys got the money it was a sunday you want to go get it and we're like yeah now back then we lived out in the country the closest like store that sold video games was 30 minutes away modesto and a good guys if you guys remember the good guys and so we drove up there, got the Super Nintendo game with two controllers and Super Mario World, which is a classic. And, uh, and we bought Final Fight. And dude, we just played the heck out of it. We loved it. My dad had a better TV, even though I don't know why. Like, we had no right having a good TV. But, uh, dude, we loved it. And I'll, uh, I'll expand more on the story because I got to sign off soon. But it, uh, that's how I got it. And it, we just took it from there, dude. The Legend of Zelda came out, I think in March or April. I was calling good guys every single day because they couldn't, no one could stay in stock with it. And um, it, uh, what do you call it? Uh, finally, it was like, it was a Saturday. I remember this. The lady's like, we got like three. I, you know, this little kid, hey, can you put one on hold for me, please? We're going to get my dad. We're going to drive there. You know, and like, so she's like, fine. This was Saturday morning. We were Little League. We played Little League. My dad was the coach. We, uh, and that Saturday morning, we had team pitchers at the park. And then, so after team pitchers, we're like, Dad, you gotta drive us to the good guys. We got you know, and it was, it was a solid half hour each way. And, you get, and he was so pissed off because we had a game that afternoon, like early afternoon. We had like two hours. We are like, no, you gotta take us now. And dude, my, Give my dad credit, he was always clutch. I've got some other stories regarding video games with him helping us out, but um, he took us there. 
Like late morning, he's just grumbling the whole way. We got the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with the good guys. I don't even think we played it. We just got home, changed into our baseball clothes. Maybe we're still in our clothes from pictures and ran to the game and probably got our asses kicked because we sucked. But we could not give a crap about the baseball game. It was all Zelda when we got home. So good times. Shout out to my dad. Always coming through clutch. You know, for my brother and I, with driving us out of, you know, in our freaking, you know, no electricity, had to spin a bike to generate power to turn on the TV and video games. It's a joke. We, we, it wasn't that bad. So, anyways, that's that's a quick story. I gotta come up with more lame stories to tell you guys. Keep my keep my attention at least. Okay, so we're just gonna get to the top here and just sign off. You know, it's a little climb. You can pull that hammer out. Pull it out now. We don't need the hammer. Like, I'd love to. I hate not getting gassed, but what are you gonna do? I still, I gotta stop eating. Eating too much, man. It's the biggest problem when you start taking it easy. You gotta take it easy on the eating. And it's easy to not eat good or just keep eating what you're eating when you're burning maybe 500 less calories. So, gotta definitely watch that. All right, so we're gonna get up to the road here. This is a good, good little fun run. Just fun time, guys. We learned a lot about each other. We learned in 1769, some dude was the first to come through here. Uh, had 22 children again. How many How many of them were eaten by grizzly bears? It's like, well, he lost 18 of them were eaten within the first month. So, like, okay. But I mean, this, come on. The same lady. All right, so we're just gonna, we're gonna come, we're gonna stop at the bridge up here. So we're gonna do this. We'll, we'll let loose on the lungs. If you guys know what I mean. Right here. Okay. This is it. We're at 609 feet a minute, an hour and 20. Are we actually recording? We are, look at this bridge here. So guys, let's get, how do I do the, there we go. Okay guys, we did a flat run. We're resting the old bum knee, but we're making it happen. So we're just getting ready. We're just taking things easy. We're getting ready for the bear, the big bear cabin. So we're gonna do this. All right guys, woo! All right. I'm Hooded Hill Hopper. You guys know what to do. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit that notification bell, ping. So, share the video, comment, share it, dude. Let's get, let's get a pyramid scheme going. Come on now, let's do this. Guys on the count of three, one, two, three. Ah! Woo! All right, I didn't need to go that intense. I didn't win the lotto as someone said, nor did I do a really hard run, but we made it happen. I'm sweating, so we got something done. Guys, let's do this tomorrow. Let's go home. I got work, all right. Ah!